Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Katrika. Welcome back to Level Up With Wu. I hope you guys are doing well. As always, you guys know I hope that you guys are thriving and striving and if you're not, if you're not, it's okay. It's okay. Whatever phase you're in, just know that there are lessons that you can learn that will help you through your process. All right, you guys, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's coming up. So for the month of December, I am really going to make a commitment to post five days a week on my um, Instagram. And I am hoping, well, not that I'm hoping, I'm putting together something very personal for my youtube channel and i would love for you guys to stay tuned and um keep in touch throughout the month of december because i'm starting off december with letting you guys in a bit more on um, the background and why i'm here and how i got to where i am and it's scary. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's scary, okay? Because the more I open up, the more vulnerable I become, the more raw it can feel. So that, you guys. And I'm putting it out here so that I won't be tempted to go back and change my mind. It's already out here. So, mm. All right, you guys. So this week, this week, this week, what are we talking about? You guys remember a few weeks ago when I was doing, after I came back from the retreat, I told you guys I heard a word. Mm. This pastor preached a word. We were out in nature. We were out in the open by the lake and the scenery was just beautiful. And Pastor Evanson just, he talked about, he preached about, um, he delivered a word about Jonah and Jonah's story. But he did it through the lens of, the sailors the merchants that were in the ship with jonah and i had never really heard the story about jonah from that perspective before but it makes so much sense because it aligns with what i say all the time which is do not make permanent decisions for temporary problems so here we go all right so for those of you who don't know, you should read Jonah's story in its entirety. But the snapshot is Jonah was called for a purpose. God called him, led him, led him, is telling him you need to go to Nineveh. But no, he wants to run away. So he runs away, goes on a ship, pays it pays his fare, goes on a ship, there's a storm. The sailors are like, oh my gosh, yet Jonah is there sleeping. Lo and behold, they cast lots and they found out that he's the reason for it. And they were very reluctant to throw him overboard. So what they did was they decided to throw away their cargo. Their very, very expensive cargo. Their, that's like money. That's like you having a water cash and saying, you know what? I, my bank is not allowing me to, you know, to deposit my funds. So I'm just going to just throw all my money away. That's basically what they did. They were merchants. Their, their produce were on the ship that they were about to sell. Very expensive produce. But yet, because of the storm, they chose to throw it all away. And that is what I want us to really be mindful of, me included. You got to trust God through the storm. So two things that I got from that. One, well, three things. One, always seek answers from God. Those guys prayed to God for answers they got the answer but they were kind of scared because it's sort of like a drastic solution like you're gonna throw this man overboard what he, he, he might die most likely he will die second thing i said it in the beginning don't make 
permanent decision for temporary problems. And third, trust in God. So the first one, whenever you are going through, whenever we're going through trials and, and tribulations, we got to drop at the feet of God. We should already be there anyway, but you know what? Things happen and we get separated. Just like how small kids get separated from their parents. We too um, get separated from God. So we need to seek answers from the one who's been to the end and back and who has a purpose and a hope for our lives. So you got to seek God in prayer. And when you seek God in prayer, don't just be like, okay, so a month, two months, a week, two weeks, and you don't hear anything and you get upset and you're like, well, God's not here. God's not answering me. Daniel waited for three weeks. And in the third week, God answered him about the vision of what was to become of his people. So again, patience, seek God in prayer, but give room and space for God to answer. Second, I'm sure you guys are sick and tired of me saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it. Don't make permanent decisions for temporary problems. Those men threw out their precious cargo because the storm was raging instead of getting rid of Jonah. Had they listened and got rid of Jonah, they would have... Because immediately after he was thrown overboard, the waters calmed. And so they had no products. They had no produce. They had nothing to sell. All their livelihood was overboard. And I think of how often I've done that in my life, right? In when I'm on a when I'm going through something, instead of really number one, seeking God and waiting for the answer. And then, you know, making wise decisions after I become very rash and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to. Mm. And I do things and I make decisions that long after my problem is over, is staying with me that I have to pay for. So I have learned, and this is why I say it all the time, all the time. Trouble won't last always. And the last one is we got to trust in God. God will not assign you where his protection and provision won't cover you. God will not assign you where his protection and provision will not cover you. Believe me when I tell you this because I've done it over and over and over again. And when I look back, I'm like, oh my gosh. If I had just waited, if I had just persevered, if I had just blah, 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 blah. You know what? I wouldn't be in the situation that I'm in. So I'm encouraging each and every one of us. When you're going through the storm, whatever, wherever you are in that process, you could be the beginning of the storm, the middle, or almost to the end. You got to see God's face. Don't make those decisions that you have to pay for long after your trouble is over. And you have to trust in God. You got to trust in God. Thank you so much. That's it for this week's video. I hope you guys were blessed by it. And if you were, and if you liked it, don't forget to share it, like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I honestly do not take for granted the fact that you guys watch my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you once again. Je vous apprécie tout le monde. Je vous apprécie. Merci à la encore. Thank you again so much and have a blessed week, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.